All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel and to some more turkey patterning. And today, we've got another really interesting combo that I'm excited to see what kind of results we can get out of. Because one of you guys requested to see it because it's the combination that you used to hunt with this spring. And you said you saw some good results from it. So we'll see what we can get out of it today. Because at least on paper, it should give us some good results as long as these shells are actually decent performers. But as for the shell we've got here today, I brought out some more of the Tungsten Super Slam TSS shell. They are a 20 gauge, 1 and 5 eighths ounce load of number 9 TSS shot moving about 1100 feet per second. And it does say that they have 585 pellets in these shells. So quite a good number of them for a 20 gauge shell. And the first time we tested these a little while back, we ran them through a little bit tighter. I believe it was a 555 Carlson's choke. And they did pretty decently, but they also looked like they needed a little bit of fine tuning with the choke or the constriction. So maybe today's combination might be the ticket for what these shells like but as for that combination i brought out the stevens 301 20 gauge here but i threw in this choke which is a primos tight wad it's a 570 constriction and it has shown us some really good results for a very budget choke i think this is like 21 or 22 dollars or something like that and being 570 constriction we've seen some good results right around that benchmark before so i'm thinking we should see some decent results as long as those super slam shells are actually a halfway decent shell themselves but as for the test today everything is the same as usual the turkey target is set up at 40 yards i also have the chronograph so we can get our velocity out of them so we'll get you guys to view the target take the shot look at the chrono and then go look at our results chances are i'll have to band-aid up the birchwood casey target a little bit with some paint markers so you can actually see what's going on since this recent batch really sucks for targets but either way i have some high hopes for this combination I think it's just going to come down to how well the shells can perform. So let's head over here and take this shot and see just what kind of results we're able to get. Okay, so that shell gave us 1182 through our chronograph. The boss claims 1100, so we are a little bit above that, but still 1182 for TSS 9s. That is pretty much right where I kind of want them to be at. So I definitely think we are looking pretty decent as far as velocity goes up here. But how did they actually pattern down there at 40 yards? Let's go check it out and see what we got. All right, now we're down here at our 40 yard paper and this is what we got. And I gotta say, that is pretty impressive for a 20 gauge shell. We absolutely have a dead bird there all day long. And really, that is a very solid turkey pattern. You have a nice hot core area right in the center of your pattern down here. So that looks really good. It does give you a little bit of leeway to work with around the edges while not being blown completely wide open either. And really, there's not a ton of flyers in it. There might be one up there at the top left and maybe Maybe just a couple other little ones around the edges but still that's not bad whatsoever that's easily 85 to 90 percent of your shot is on that turkey paper so i'm really liking what i'm seeing here is for a pattern our core area down there that might be you know seven eight inches around is really even looking just outside of that we might see a little bit of patchiness but no voids that are really any larger than a quarter so obviously there's nothing to be concerned about there as far as a bird being able to slip away from you so if he was anywhere within that turkey paper plus a little bit on either side you're absolutely gonna hammer him so definitely a really good looking turkey pattern for a 20 gauge I'd hunt with that all day long. And I definitely think this is a little bit better than what we saw with the tighter 555 choke with these shells. I really think that 570 plus or minus just a little bit is really where some of these TSS shells like to shine. Now, looking at the very outskirt edges of our pattern, I still think we can tune that in or at least even it up just a tiny little bit, maybe with another choke in 570 constriction or plus or minus a little bit. We can step it down to a 568 or maybe be up to a 575 something like that and try it because i think we can still get a little tiny bit better out of these but clearly i'm kind of nitpicking a little bit here because that is a very solid turkey pattern that i would not be scared to use so definitely looking very good here for only the second shell that we've tested of that super slam tss they definitely seem to be a pretty good option because clearly they produce very good looking hunting patterns in my opinion 
Okay, and here's the wad from that shell, and it's pretty much your basic, typical TSS style 20 gauge wad. Nothing really too fancy about the design of it. There is nothing stuck down in there, but this one pedal did open up a little farther than the rest. As you can see, it is a little bit beat up and banged up, a couple tiny little pinholes, but it did go through a ported choke, and from my experience, those tight wad chokes tend to rough up the wads just a little bit, and even the little tail skirt down here, you can see it caught the edge of it a little bit, so maybe if we get a non-ported 570-ish constriction, we might be able to fine-tune those very outskirt edges the little bit more that I was talking about earlier. Either way, the wad looks pretty much how I would expect it to look. There's nothing major as far as concerns go, and clearly the pattern performed perfectly fine. So I don't think there's much to worry about here as far as the wad goes today. All right, y'all. Well, what did you think about that pattern right there? Definitely a very good, solid looking 20 gauge turkey pattern. You could hunt with that at 40 yards all day long. It's not so screaming tight that you would really have to be concerned with it at 20 or 25 yards. You would still have to be pretty well on him, but it does afford you a little bit of leeway around the edges, which I do like to see. But that's clearly a good enough pattern to where if you misjudge your range at 45 or maybe even 50, you would still be plenty good enough. So definitely a very solid performance here today not really much to complain about if we want to get really picky about it we might be able to just fine tune the edges the slightest little bit more with the perfect choke for these but really i don't know that we're going to see a whole lot better than that and that is a plenty good enough turkey pattern for you to use all day long so as always leave your thoughts about it in the comments is that about what you expected to see were you a little surprised one way or the other have you tested any of these super slam shells and if so what kind of results have you seen have you run them through the tight wad have you hunted with them would you hunt with that kind of a pattern let me know all that down below but as for today not a whole lot we can complain about with that combination it would absolutely take you a turkey but with that being said i've got some more testing to get done for you guys so i'm gonna get back to it as always we have the channel instagram as well as the mailbox where you can send stuff if you're interested all that information will be in the description if you're interested in it but i'm gonna get back to it so i'll see y'all in the next one